Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notification. In my absence of doing reactions to Chantel, she has 33 plus hours of live streams and a few hours of recorded video. That is a lot to unwrap, and honestly I'm not gonna unwrap it all. I'm just going to react to her birthday date, and this new Tinder hottie she is all gaga over. In typical Chantel fashion she has deleted some videos, but lucky for us Thor has them on his channel. I will have a link in the description below to Thor's channel. Thor uploads all Chantel's content, whether she's taken it down or not, that way we have a record of everything she's done. I for one appreciate that, and I always know to go to his channel first, to find what I'm looking for. I encourage you guys to go on over, check it out, subscribe and show Thor some love. I know you all want to talk about Chantel's new Tinder lover, and trust me we will get to this alleged Tinder booty call. But first there's two people we need to talk about, and that's Pete's, and her birthday date Frank. Prior to Chantel's birthday date she did do a couple of mukbangs, but mostly lives where she ran her mouth for hours on end. She also consumed large amounts of edibles, and therein lies what I believe is the problem. She is already an attention whore. Now, before any of her ass kissing subs come over here bashing me for that comment, your queen admitted that herself. I'm an attention whore. I believe the heavy use of the edibles is to take care of two problems that she has. The first was to override the effects of the ozempic, which killed her appetite. Without stuffing her face, she would lose her feeders, and they are the biggest source of income that she has right now. She does get super chats during her live streams, but not like they used to in the past. The super chats are starting to slow down. The other reason I believe is due to her subscribers encouraging her to do it. Normally they encourage her to eat what she wants. But when she's baked she a nicer, kinder Chantel, and there's less fear of them being booted out of chat, or their comments deleted and them blocked, because she's in a better mood. With that out of the way let's talk about Pete's. In the beginning I never gave him much thought, then as the year has moved on I have noticed several things about Pete's. I've come to the conclusion that he's not only an enabler, and a feeder, he's also an ass like Chantel. But since Chantel is in the hunt for a booty call I can't help but to feel a little sorry for him. On her birthday he had worked it out so that he could get off early, and spend the birthday evening with his BFF. Little did he know, his BFF had plans to spend her birthday evening with someone else. I can imagine that Pete's felt but hurt, and rightly so. This is a woman that he has loved for a long time, even shared a bed with, and not only that, but Chantel made sure to let us know that. Pete had his mouth on my vagina. What do you want to do? It's your birthday. You got off early. Yep. Did you get off early to hang out with me? Yeah. Aw, thank birthday. you. Okay, guys, we have to decide where to go. All right, uh, guys, we are going to go for now, I guess. I guess I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want, I don't know what to decide. We're going to think of something to do. And then we'll go live again after, okay? Like a bit later when we figure out what we're going to eat and what we're going to do. Did you all catch that glance to the left? That's a tell that she already knows what she's going to do. And her BFF who took off early to spend a birthday evening with her isn't part of the plan. Pete is my best friend, that's why. Mm -hmm. No. We're not but what is it called? We're family, but we're not like sister brother. We are Bethan. Do we need more proof that they are truly a match made in heaven? Pete's got to have dinner with his BFF, and then he graciously covered his being butt hurt and excused himself for the rest of the evening, which allowed Chantel to meet up with Frank. Actually, you know what I could really go for right now? What? A nap. Are if you I'm really honest. tired? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go lay down? Yeah, I'll nap while you go get your bubble time, your bubble tea. What a feeble attempt at trying to show Pete's and the rest of us that you're sad that he's not going. You know, you didn't want him to go in the beginning, and was hoping he would decline. So, do you want to meet like on my live stream, Frank? Is that what you want to do? I'm an attention whore. Check it out. <laughs> I'm an attention whore. I wish you were still alive. Oh my god, it's him! Come in, come in! Hold on, Sean. What are you up to, Frank? We you didn't know you were coming. Are you okay with me? Yeah, sure. Uh, all right. 
<laughs> Here's Frank. Guys, what's up? It's Frank. The first question that pops into my mind for Frank is, do you really find Chantel that attractive, witty, and funny that you find yourself wanting to meet her, and spend time with her, even if it's just to have a bubble tea? <laughs> Hi! How are you, Chantel? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Did you drive here? I did. What uh, car? I live really close by. It's like five minutes. Oh. I'm wearing a mask, guys, because... Oh, shit, I should too. No, I mean, if, yeah. you're, if you're comfortable with me not wearing one, I forgot. it's up to you, but... There we go. It's Ottawa and we have like, uh... COVID. My next question for you, Frank, should be a very easy one for you to answer. You have been watching Chantel on video for a while, and you have seen firsthand her behavior toward COVID. Knowing that the area that you both live in is still a hotspot, do you think it's a good idea to meet up? Neither of you know if one or the other has been exposed to COVID and is asymptomatic. Yeah, we have these rules and we gotta wear masks everywhere and... <laughs> <laughs> While you laugh about it, Chantel, I ask you the same question, as far as not knowing whether or not Frank has been exposed to COVID and is asymptomatic, do you think it's such a good idea for a meetup, knowing that you're going back home to a place that you share with another individual? But everybody didn't think I'd show up. <laughs> no. But I was, I was at home like two minutes away, not really doing anything, so... <laughs> yeah, so you, here. you live close by. I do. That's cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Frank. Nice to meet you, too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Handshake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Everybody thought I was a serial killer or something like I that. I know. <laughs> I don't think you are a serial killer, but I do have some thoughts on this whole thing. Chantel's nervous laughing indicates to me that you are already familiar with her and Pete's. Not so much as a subscriber, but possibly former co-worker or a friend of Pete's. Also, from prior stories that Chantel has told, you just aren't her type. You aren't the type of guy that she's looking for. You seem to fall along the lines as a Pete's, and not that hunk she so desires. Why would she meet up with an average guy, when she has an average guy at home? In a nutshell for me, this was nothing more than a setup and a trolling job. But <laughs> You never know, that's the thing, Frank. But you honestly, never guys, don't you think it's just as weird that a subscriber met up with a YouTube person? It's the same thing, right? Yeah. It's just as strange. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that strange. I mean. No. Have you ever done this before? No. Well then. Never. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably pretty strange. <laughs> You're making all these people excited because we were bored and now there's excitement going on. Yeah. yeah You're sweet. Thank you for the birthday money. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. How's your birthday so far? It's well. It's cool now. Yeah. I'm like hanging out with somebody. It's and... pretty cool, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have ever thought? <laughs> There's like 1,800 people watching us. I'm an attention whore. Oh, wow. So what kind of bubble tea do you like? I have no idea. Do you know anything about bubble tea? I have no idea. Chantel, don't act so surprised about bubble tea. You act like it's the first time you've had it. Um, I've seen a sign for this this place. I think it's like Juice Dudes um, or something. It's on here. Juice Dudes. Yeah, juice dudes. <laughs> and I've never tried bubble tea. So I wanted to try bubble tea. And I saw something with a lot of chocolate. And he's like, what can I get you? I'm like, oh, have a bubble tea. Something with a ton of chocolate. I'm like, I'm pregnant with twins. <laughs> so let's try the bubble tea. Now this is made with real mango juice. Like he juiced, everything was fresh from there. Um, yeah. Mango, these are boba that pop in your mouth and they're flavored by lychee. Mm. Like that, lychee flavored. They're little like, I think they're tapioca pearls. Mmm. Mmm, they pop in your mouth. So, let's try this. Mmm. Mm. Mm. There is tea in here. Mm. That is a real mango flavor, like not mango syrup. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Usually I'll just get something random. Yeah. I know that there's those tapioca balls in them. Yeah. But that's about it. Um, I don't know. Maybe just ask them what they suggest. Okay. 
Are so you like, sure? let them go. Do you like, want me to come with you? No, well, that's fine. I mean, you can stay here if you want. I'll grab the bubble teas. Okay. Well, you're sweet. So Pete doesn't want anything. No, he won't drink that. He's sleeping. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just surprise right. me. I I'm don't care. I'm gonna get some bubble teas, guys. Okay. Thanks. Mike. All right. I'll be back. Okay. How sweet is that? <laughs> wow. He smells really, really good right now. He smells really, really good right now, as opposed to when. It appears you're familiar with Frank's identifying odor, to be able to claim that he smells really, really good right now. By the way, I don't recall ever hearing you say that Pete smelled really good. I'm now beginning to wonder what Pete's actually smells like. How long have you been watching my crazy videos? Um, I'd like to say for the last year or so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I stumbled upon you, but you know how YouTube is. It's just... Yep, we know how YouTube is. You watch one morbidly obese mukbanger, and the next thing you know the queen of delusional narcissistic morbidly obese mukbanger ends up on your recommended feed. So the real question is, who did you start watching before Chantel popped up as a recommended channel? Of course I would expect a feeder, to blame it on YouTube, you know you watch one thing, and then the next thing you know, yeah right. Oh my goodness, this is crazy! Yeah, honestly. Alright guys, we have spent enough with Frank. If you've got an opinion about him, post your comments down below. As far as I'm concerned it's one of two things, he's either somebody that Chantel and Pete's already know and feels comfortable around, and he agreed to help her troll us, or he's actually a feeder, and he wanted to meet his dream girl, because he's got an absolutely freaky fetish. Shall we move on, to this Tinder hottie, that Chantel's all gaga over? I would like for you guys to hear her own words, but because she has to play music, I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm just gonna have to hit the high points. Chantel found his condo, but unfortunately had to park out on the street, where she waited for him to come downstairs. As he approached the car, she noticed how well-dressed he was, wearing a black hoodie and blue jeans. What shocked her the most was that he looked nothing like his picture. He wasn't just cute, he was so cute that she couldn't stop repeating it. Along with being cute, he had nice teeth, perfect white straight teeth, and when he got in the car and said hi, she reached to grab his face and said I'm so glad you have nice teeth, and his name is Nicholas. So far as anybody's bullshit meter pegging, because I know mine is. They couldn't keep their eyes off each other, he told her how pretty she is. Chantel said he is so respectful, and he said he didn't want to sound like a pervert, which seemed to fly over Chantel's head, because all she could think about was his accent, and that he is so damn hot. He grabbed her hand and asked if he could kiss her on the cheek, and when they turned towards each other, they ended up making out. I have to call bullshit here and for one very simple reason. Knowing that their area is still a hotspot for COVID, I cannot believe for one minute that either of them are that horny that they would take a chance not knowing if the other had been exposed to COVID. I'm telling you guys, Chantel can't be that stupid, that's why I'm beginning to believe this never happened, and it's all a troll job. I forgot to mention, she said he had the nicest breath, but that could have been because they had both been chewing gum. While they were making out he was touching her all over, and touching her belly and that turned her on, and she said she enjoyed the making out, and the groping because it felt good. She said he has a really nice job, and that just moved here recently and got lucky with immigration because of COVID. He is a permanent resident now, and she said, it's unbelievable, what are the chances of being hot and legal? Oh, turn off the music? All right, I just had to calm my nerves, like I like listening to my favorite song. Okay, so... <clears throat> I didn't think you guys could hear it that well. Was it bussin'? Oh, it was... Oh, it was bussin'! And he's, like, so... He's too nice. Like, I I want to have kids with this man. And I don't have ovaries. I want to have kids with this man. Oh, my God. He's so amazing. And he's like... Oh, I'll fucking take the elevator for him. I don't care. He's like... So whenever you want to, he's like, I hope you'll see me again. I'm just like, you hope I'll see you again. I'm like, if he texts me right away after leaving, he texted me right away after leaving. Like, he's, oh man, he's so hot. 
Oh, he's so much hot. He's so, oh, our chemistry is so much better than I thought it would ever be. And he's just like, no, we didn't hook up. He's a, he's a gentleman like that. He's like, I want to invite you on a proper date at my place, you know, like, um, whenever, like he's off weekend. So he's like, I don't really have a bubble. Honestly, he's like, I don't see anybody. I know it's COVID and like he had his mask on and like, obviously we took it off at some point to are any of you believing this bullshit? Because I'm not. She goes from a plain average Pete's to a hot BB, then from hot BB back to average Pete's, to a meet up with average Frank, and now she's found Nicholas the man of her dreams, the hottest guy in her area, and all during COVID. He's so cute when he was leaving, he was like, mm. <laughs> he's so, oh my god, like, where has this man been? This is what happens to me. I like a guy and then I go nuts. I need to just not know. Oh God, the kissing. I haven't made out with a man in so long and just felt that like, okay, I haven't made out with somebody and felt that in so long. Just like, oh, he's such a good kisser. Not too much tongue. Like that's, like, that's so important. I have seen and heard enough and I'm sure the rest of you have as well. All I can say is I think it's all bullshit, plain and simple. She has a track record with her story time over exaggerating all her sexual escapades, so any of these things she's saying don't surprise me one bit. But what is really setting off my spider senses tingling, is the fact that we haven't had a woe as me, looking for sympathy video from her. I can't help but believe that the next thing that's going to happen is she's going to say these guys ghosted her, and accuse them of fat shaming. I think this is a new addition to her cycles. What she has been doing the last few weeks is probably the best troll job she has ever done or will do. The last word I'd like to leave you with is Grub time. for the night because I want to go poo poos. I appreciate you hanging out me with me for hours and hours every single day. I love you guys. Bye guys. Thank you all for watching our video. Please like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of new videos. Take care and we will see you all in the next video.